Down in the five-match series, Sri Lanka staring at another potential ODI series defeat at home as they play England in the fourth ODI in Palakale on Saturday. Sri Lanka last won a bilateral ODI series at home in 2015 against West Indies. Since then, they have only drawn against Bangladesh while losing to Australia, Zimbabwe, India and most recently to South Africa. Losing 32 ODIs in the last 42 competed games is a record which the home team will not want to dwell on as they face the world number one ranked team on Saturday. The visitors on the other hand have lived up to their number one status and will be hoping to seal the series with a game to spare. Despite a cracking start with the bat in the rain shortened third ODI on Wednesday, Sri Lanka batting lineup faltered in all too familiar fashion to post 150 for 9, which England chased down with ease. The form of several key batsmen for Sri Lanka, such as Kusal Mendis, skipper Dinesh Tandimal, and senior batsman Upul Taranga, has been a major worrying factor as they are yet to put pressure on England with the bat. Sri Lankan opening batsman Sadira Samaravikrama addressed the media on the eve of the fourth ODI. Yeah, actually, uh, now we can't win the series from here after. So we have to come back really strong and we have to level the series at this moment. So we have to execute our basic plans. So I think I, uh, mostly our batsmen have to uh, get the responsibility first and get a big score first. Oh, we are chasing, we have to chase the score. So I think mostly we have to come back strongly with the batting side. Sri Lanka probable 11. Nirushan Tikwala, Sadhira Samara Vikrama, Kusal Mendis, Dinesh Chandimal, Dananjaya Di Silva, Dasun Chanaka, Tisara Pereira, Akila Dananjaya, Amila Aponsu, Lasit Malinga and Nuwan Pradeep. The visitors will be disappointed with the prevailing weather conditions which have affected all their matches including the practice games. With only a handful of games left before the World Cup next year, they will be desperate for a full-blooded proper contest in the final two ODIs. England skipper Owen Morgan has been in excellent form scoring two half centuries in as many games to lead the way in the batting front while their bowling unit has worked cohesively to continuously trouble the host. With incredibly stiff competition for places in the well-gen England ODI lineup, the team management may make a few changes, especially with seam bowlers before heading to Colombo. England fast bowlers Liam Plunkett, who joined the squad recently, addressed the media on Friday. By winning again, it's just by you keep winning as a unit. Uh, obviously, people have come in. It's just that confidence to show that you can beat anyone in any condition. Uh, same in it. It's just that. People say you never win from home in the past, you always struggle when you, you travel against teams when it's spinning. But we, we show now that we can win in any conditions. And a lot of that is a lot of the guys going away and playing in the T20 comps uh, and getting experience from the international players from India, from Sri Lanka. Uh, so I think it is that, just keep building that confidence, keep building it. Uh, and it's just going to put us in a better place. England broke up 11. Jason Roy. Johnny Barrister, Joe Root, Oin Morgan, Ben Stokes, Josh Butler, Moin Ali, Chris Wokes, Tom Curran, Adil Rashid and Mark Wood. The rain has interrupted games throughout the series as only 133.3 overs of play have been possible in the three matches. Plenty of sunshine in the intervening period between the two games in Palakale provides hope for a full game on Saturday with a 9.45 a.m. start scheduled. But the weather forecast is not promising as the showers are expected to interrupt the game. <laughs>